yes hello welcome back to another video from small axe music productions today um still on this session and i just want to show you um a quick um tip and drum bus to show you how you can boost your drum after finish your edits and and mixing and how you can you can um give it a, an, a little sweetening extra sweetening by just adding some plugins and and tweaking them on the drum bus all right so let's just have a quick listen to this guy here again session that we are working in and just um play without the the the, 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 the effect of the plugin and and see what we have <laughs> so fairly good enough drum still but um like i say you can add uh, extra sweetening to this let me just play that a uh, few more bars again and then we turn on the plugin and see the difference <laughs> Difference, a world of a difference with this plugin. Let me just solo the drums, by the way. Alright, so out in out all right this is the last part here you can see um how much transients are, are coming out of the drum when the plugin is um is is, is in effect all right let's go again all right listen to the sneer the sneer came alive the kick have a more prominent um, thump to it. The hi hat has a more sizzling crisp to it as well. All right, let's go again. A, B, let's loop this section. more body more everything you know it just bring the drummer alive it's like you're right there with the drummer um playing you know all right so let's have a look at the, the rack i'm using the rack first i i i bring this this um um eddie creamer in right for saturation and it has this nice unique compression on it that just locks the, the, the whatever you put it on you know and just bring out some nice transient and it's very warm 
right it's a tape plugin and this is one of my go-to plugin i've been using this plugin for a year with our master and, and whatever and let me tell you what, something about this plugin for drums if your drums is too harsh with high end um the cymbals are the, the, the rides are the, the hi-hats are just going o- out of this world just put this um on on, on your 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 drum bus and and there's a preset in here that called drum all you have to do is go for drum kit and it, it contains all the 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 the, the, the hi-hat and the wishy-washy tunes that you're hearing and just make it a nice warm fat drum right so in this case i i f- i always use this preset by the way in mastering or whatever this uh, um, preset called uh, mastering clean and open right and this is what uh, i always use these presets by the way and then i tweak my way from from there but in this case it was sounding good so all i did was just turn on the, the nice level I, I realize the nice level sometimes can be very overwhelming especially when you start to master and you start to add the the, the plugins on it you hear that 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 tape um hiss going on and sometimes it's just too much plus i use other plugins with the the the, the analog especially like here um this guy with the analog i uh, i would use h delay and normally it would have that 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 analog on it so in most cases i would probably would turn them down later on so yeah so be sure to to control the nice level on this if you use a lot of saturation plugins across your 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 mix all right so that's all i did with it and it just made a different um here i use this eq and i did some some two cuts one here in the 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 124 um frequency and this one in at 521 i boosted here um I boosted here up 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 at the and the 8k region and just a uh, kind of wide bell um curve there and it's it's sounded good so that's all to it I probably should you know be put be on the safe side and just do a small um cut and roll off on the bottom end here all right I'll have to hear that You hear that thumb roll just now? Alright. Alright. So we definitely cut out some of those um we definitely cut out some of those those um uh, that low rumbling in when you cut the low the low the low put on other other high pass frequency filter out all right all right So uh, we can have a listen from here. All right, not bad. So we keep a lot of the rumbling out of the bottom end by just putting putting on that um, high pass filter.
right, let's kind of see what's going on here. So I <laughs> changed this EQ, changed this EQ, and, and now I lost my setting. I thought I had copied the the setting to. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I had no idea um, I could have pasted it um, here. So right, so we got it back. <laughs> So the drum is definitely cutting through um, better and you want to be careful because the kick drum is situated around this area here so you don't want to you know cut too much out of it you know, right so you probably could use one another band and kind of you know lift that frequency down here so you will retain some of the low end <laughs> So there you go um, for that plugin, right? And then we have uh, uh, this compressor here, the SSL compressor. Right, as you can see, my ratio is at four. <laughs> right, four to one. Yeah, and then I have um, the attack at three. The threshold is barely, um, it, be it barely scratches the surface. Right, the release is all the way around here. Right, and... <laughs> Let me just solo these guys, um, cut these guys out and start entering them one by one. Um, uh, let me solo the drum as well. Let's enter this. Alright, you can hear the richness of the Eddie Creamer tape. Alright, let's move on to this guy here. The EQ in a more nice and smoother top end brings out the snare a bit more. And of course control some of the the low end rumble. Alright, as you can hear, it cuts it in. Alright, it has a longer sustain without the EQ. Watch as I enter the EQ in. See, this is dead, dry, kick, not sustaining so much. Alright, let's go for the, the SSL. Uh, in all right so it tightens it up a bit and give it a bit more bite a bit more grit it says it like it, it, it just binds it to, together you know a little glue everything out a flat uh, drum in all right everything comes alive yeah so that's um, how you use uh, 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 your plugins, and these plugins are 
good for the bus drum bus and you know once you have your drums standing up you can always start putting the other elements around it all right so the drums um are the centerpiece of of of, of um reggae in most cases right? you have to have that nice solid drop all right so here we go again so you have a nice cleaner more transparent drum with a little character there all right so that's it for a quick um trick um today again all right so enjoy um uh, mixing mastering whatever you do ar arranging all right um if you haven't kno didn't know this 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 trick then it's time to start applying it you know to get better drums all right um send me your tricks and 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 and, and comment in the comment section and let me know what you guys use so i can uh, explore all right it's a wide world and there's so uh, so much information out there and i would like to to learn something from you guys all right enough respect bless up subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit the notification bell i have a lot of videos coming your way um as i like i said it's not even 2019 yet and i promise you guys 2019 and i have so much much videos that i re released over the last two weeks all right a lot of videos are just sitting there and waiting to be released all right so bless up enough love enough respect check www.sample um tropical samples.com for samples and and loops and check www.smallaxmp.com for beats all right bless up and peace out